Please, for the love of God, do not play Roller Coaster Tycoon like this, and especially do not play it like this. There's only one way you should be able to play this game. OpenRCT2, like the name suggests, is an open source mod created by Ted John. It expands upon the original features of Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 and 2, compiles them into one game, and just significantly makes it easier to play on Windows 2. It scales your Windows resolution up to 4K. And if you're really feeling funky and have a homebrew switch, you can play on that too. And it's so simple to install and get. There's one of two ways to get a copy of Roller Coaster Tycoon. You could either get a digital copy either on Steam or GOG or even other platforms, which is extremely cheap. It's always on sale, not a problem. Or you could even use the physical version, whatever flavor that you're interested in. And a huge thank you to my friend Josh over at Video Game Addicts on Awesome Shack for sending me a copy of Roller Coaster Tycoon 1. Please read the README, but in essence, this takes all the data compilation from Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 and 2, puts them into one version, and plays them both on one version. That includes all of the expansions from Roller Coaster Tycoon 1, 2, and have some of the partnership parts like uh, Six Flags, and I think they dealt with some other ones, but you can do that in regardless. Go into options, and this is where the creme de la creme starts. You have the option of full screen, borderless, full screen and even windowed so you can also tailor it to whatever resolution that you'd like and it's a really nice thing to do. The scaling is going to be one of the biggest parts of this game and why I would recommend playing this alone. Let's go back to Roller Coaster Tycoon on Windows XP. The game's scaling is going to be dependent on your resolution. A higher resolution will make the scaling smaller and more difficult to read, making some things pretty illegible. And this also converts into playing these on native Windows operating systems as well without the mod. The beauty of the scaling mod is that it allows you to double or even triple the scaling of what the game was originally intended and you could see things much further and much closer and with zooming options you could see what is not intended for us to see but it's an option that you can have so why does this matter why do you even care about the scaling options well pretty simply you're able to see everything you're able to see some of the rides some of the characters the text is the most important especially seeing it at much smaller resolutions and making it much more legible i think that's going to be the biggest thing a lot of people will really enjoy when it comes into this version of open rct just like playing it on older operating systems you can uncap the fps which is nice because it also can tailor to your screen's resolution, making it easier to turn on VSync to prevent screen tearing. And combine that with the smooth scrolling and nearest neighbor, you have pretty much a perfect representation of what the graphics and pixels are supposed to be, giving you one of the best visual experiences to play Roller Coaster Tycoon akin to anything on a CRT, but that's digressing. Moving on to some of the content, this is really where a lot of people will love. Like I mentioned previously, if you have a copy of Roller Coaster Tycoon 1, the expansion packs 2, or all of the above, or just one, you can compile them very easily with no problem. So you could have everything on one compilation. You can switch from tracks going onto Roller Coaster Tycoon 1. The ability to play whatever tracks that you would like is one of the best aspects that I would recommend this alone. Because if you're playing this on original operating systems, you have to switch from one program then to the other, and it does get cumbersome. But making it all inclusive into one package is still one of the best ways to play this period. Ah, but they didn't get rid of online either. There is a caveat to this and you have to have the same version as everyone else in order to play, but you do have online. I'll admit I couldn't connect to anyone because I had to update to everyone else's and I recently updated. Hello, future Kelpie here. I actually just updated OpenRCT. I tried it out and I was able to go into the servers and I've seen some amazing maps that you can try right now. They're all user created, so you're gonna see people who love OpenRCT create their own little creations and even some wacky things like this one. This is actually my favorite that is called Top Gun, but it's a wall toy. <laughs> but in all seriousness, I think people will enjoy that you can actually go into some of the multiplayer maps, try them out, see what you can do. So I'm a big fat liar. Now here's past Kelpie. But we aren't done with features either. There are some newer features like auto saving, which allows the game to save at whatever interval you'd like, one minute, five minutes, 10 minutes, and it can also save to your Steam library. And why does this matter? If you have this game up on the Steam cloud, 
it'll automatically download and transfer up. So while you're not launching the Steam version, you can still upload and download the same save files and you can have them for safekeeping via Steam. That is such a cool experience to have, but I think it's an option a lot of people will like. Screenshots, while they are an option, are somewhat obsolete because a lot of people have uh, native screenshots that you can upload and post on social media if you'd like or on forums, but it's there and it's nice to have in case you want it, but you know, you can always talk it on and off, but it's a new option that hasn't been in the original Roller Coaster Tycoon. I did mention Zoom previously, but what's nice is that it takes advantage of your mouse's scroll wheel. You could zoom in as much as you can and see the pixels very close up, which is pretty much visually unintelligible, but it is nice that you can see up, up to a closer distance or you could zoom out. But there are options to zoom in, zoom out, and go as close as you can, so that's pretty cool. And it wasn't lying, you can play this game on the Switch. I'll bet you have to have a homebrew Switch, which I'm not gonna cover that, but it's an option that you can have, and you can play Roller Coaster Tycoon like this. And it's a great experience to have this on console and to be able to take this on the go wherever you like without much fuss or mess. Setup was a little tedious, but as always, please read the readmes, because a lot of you guys don't know how to do that. No offense. And that was Open RCT, such a phenomenal way to play Roller Coaster Tycoon, and I think the definitive and only way to play Roller Coaster Tycoon. A big shout to creator Ted John, who created this in 2014 and is still making updates. That's phenomenal. So thank you for doing that and making this an open source project for everyone to enjoy. But how are you gonna be enjoying Roller Coaster Tycoon? Would you prefer to play this on original window operating systems? Honestly, Open RCT is the best way because of all the customizability, all the scaling, and it's great. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this. I wanna thank these people right here for supporting the channel either via Patreon or on the YouTube memberships. But if you wanna see other modding guides or even other comparisons that I do, take a look right here and you can see everything that you would love. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it and I'll see you very soon.